Hey Jace, didn't get to catch up with you after Croatia. You kind of departed on a destruction mission. You made the final way better start to your Grand Prix campaign than it was last year. Mate, I couldn't have asked for any better. After the last two years, I was so, so bad really. Um, no speed and finally uh, can mix it with the top boys again and then feel like I've got the pace to, to win a Grand Prix. What's changed? Obviously, I saw you did a few meetings in Australia over the winter, but is there anything else changed in the back room? There's been a lot of things changed. Personally, uh, in, me, in me head, when I've got something under me, um, under me bum that I can know that's going to be working from the start and on the track, I'm not so edgy at the start. So I think when I went back to Australia, we done a lot of testing, really, and um, just had some fun. Um, got away from the, the, the pressure of riding uh, professionally and got back to Australia and just had some fun with the family and friends and, and just enjoyed it. Ultimately, that's why I ride bikes. We did it as a kid for fun, didn't do it for a paycheck. Um, do you feel like now when you turn up these meetings, you feel like the Jason Doyle of 2017, you feel like that you can give these boys a run for money and go for that title again? Yeah, I've always felt like I've uh, been in 2017, sorry. And uh, I know that um, I've got the speed. I, I keep saying I've had some good meetings in the, in the leagues the last couple of years, but I just haven't put it together in the Grand Prix. So. I think, uh, yeah, I'm always looking back on 2017 uh, and, and wanting to be that fast, and I think I've got that back again, and I'm really looking forward to this year. Thanks, mate. All the best for the season. You.